Hi Taurus, Taurus Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is your May 2020 Love Monthly Forecast reading with me, Christy, from In the Stars by Christy.com. Now, before we start, I just want to apologize to each and every one of you that during last month, I really did not upload any readings. Um, for the sake of the COVID-19 viruses, I mean, I really think that, you know, we had more important stuff to deal with. So in respect on that, I decided to not upload any love reading videos for everyone. Even though that I know that last month was really one of the trickiest time for many people because there's a lot of confusion a lot of sudden happenings and sudden events unfolding um, not just for humanity but with you know in our own personal life as well i am going to resume my readings this month though um, because i feel that may is really an important mark important time important month not just for humanity but for each and every one of us in our personal life as well now without any further ado let's get on with the reading for taurus in terms of their love life and relationships now for taurus this is actually my third recording for you guys i don't know what's been going on but you know i just kind of feel like a deja vu kind of scenario especially when i take a look on the charts of of may with you know a lot of taurus highlights with uranus and mercury and the sign of taurus conjunct that kind of energy and i'm doing the reading right now for taurus and i think this is my third recording and either the computer suddenly shuts down or i suddenly fail to record it for various technological reasons and it's very funny because there is a correlation of taurus and neptune happening in the sky and that is going to be playing a role for every taurus out there and for everyone else all at the same time and even with this reading that we have right now we also have neptune over here in the third house which means communication our everyday life and in with sagittarius all at the same time so there could be moments here of confusion delusion and deception that might be happening and it is not always about the other person this could be deceiving delusion and illusion that you are um, triggering or um, initiating putting on yourself all at the same time especially with this reading because we do have here the lover's card and the six of cups and this is really talking about you know maybe a, an encounter with someone that seems to be your soulmate or maybe it feels like a soulmate connection, maybe a love at first sight, or maybe um, maybe you're longing for someone, and this is basically a connection, acquaintance, relationship that you really, really want. But with the Three of Swords over here, the Nine of Swords over here, Seven of Swords, and the Seven of Cups, I kind of feel that along with that there's a lot of hurtful things a lot of confusion pain disappointment um, anxiety and a lot of you know maybe manipulation or getting confused with things or not just seeing things in a very clear state of mind with your past with the five of cups over here and the clouds over here all at the same time i kind of feel that you have come to a point wherein or at the very least the the people that is being feeling connected to the reading that i'm having right now it feels like they had a relationship before or there was there was a scenario before in their past that has disappointed them or maybe someone has hurt them um, made the fool out of them 
that kind of thing and it feels as if you are coming into a scenario wherein you have been stepped down before by someone someone has disrespected you or someone um did everything that they want without really um without giving respect to to your own wishes that kind of thing and it's as if you know history is about to repeat itself but i really feel that this is coming in as a warning that something needs to change so i'm not being negative here telling you that you know that something really nasty is about to happen in your life it's not really like that but but um readings like this it's not just about the prediction i feel that it's really more about what you are gonna do about it also because it is showing us here that if you continue the same old thing and not change your ways not change how you deal with your relationship and you know just let other people to step on you just let other people to do whatever they want on you then definitely you know there could be a future ahead of you that might be happening within the month of may that can make you feel regretful of the connection that you have built with this person or with this or whatever relationship that you are about to enter because um, this whole reading is giving us some form of warning actually the entire three readings that i i've done um for taurus you know i did reshuffle you know i i literally did three types of reading <laughs> for taurus earlier and they gave me similar messages and you know there's always some form of confusion there's always some form of deception there's always some form of you know um of pain in the past that showed up and something definitely is going to enter within the month of may that is somehow similar to what you already felt before the only difference here is that what you are gonna do about this are you just going to let people do the same thing over and over again to you without you fighting back without you changing your ways because I kind of feel that you know it's not just about um, it's not it's not just about your own luck you know some of you might be thinking that I'm just not lucky when it comes to love I'm just not lucky when it comes to men or women in my life it's not about that I really feel here that you know you are being called upon to change something with your life with your personal life and with how you deal relationships as well so we do have the two of wands here and the seven of swords and the correlation between the two of them is really really important because at one point um this could be a scenario wherein are you just going to wait for someone to enter your life just to fool you again or are you going to take action to change the dynamics of their relationship so that um instead of them fooling you we can make something work in the relationship so that the other person can learn to respect you to can learn to really see you for who you are that kind of energy learn to notice you and learn to um give consideration to the things that they have done in the past so that they can learn to respect you and you know maybe love you for who you really are and really care for you in return it it makes me feel that this could be a scenario wherein it's not just about letting things happen but doing something triggering something so that things can be directed on a different um different path or different scenario different um um uh i don't know different dynamic of a relationship that kind of thing because i really feel that for some of you guys maybe you are in a relationship with someone or maybe you tend to attract or you tend to want someone 
who is not really committed you know maybe you are a, a tourist woman who is always um, looking for Mr. Right and your version of Mr. Right always ends up with the Mr. Bad Boy kind of thing someone who is very manipulative confusing all over the place like one day they like you the next day they're not one day they say this the next day they don't like they don't really um, li live up to your expectation because they always change and you know it's not just it's not enough for you to just you know express your feelings to them you need to let them know that you know you need to be respected that they need to respect you all at the same time you need to fight your own ground basically is what is being shown here and not to let things happen to you just because you think you cannot fight back just because you think that you cannot do anything about it anymore remember we have uranus and in, in taurus along with mercury it's time for you for you to change things up and maybe to change your mind on certain things or to be more inventive and have a form of a new idea on what you should do if you if your methods and your ways are very outdated this could be the time we're in maybe uh, you need to think about um, trying to uh, to have a new strategy in terms of how you deal with your relationship with partnerships and love all at the same time this can also be a time we're in if you you have done everything that you can for a certain person in your life and they still um, end up fooling you over and over again then maybe this is the time for you to make a certain decision make a very important decision remember the lover's card is a card of decision making making um, life-changing decisions and all of that not just for the other person but also for yourself because maybe that person is never gonna change or maybe they are really a player at heart or maybe they're just not ready and you know you need to make a decision that is going to be beneficial for you not just for the other person itself so there is a huge warning in this relationship in this reading rather there's there is a huge warning that there could be deception and cloudiness confusion in the mix of things and what you really see or hear may not always be the truth so you need to be you know having your guard up as well so um i kind of feel that you know you need to be more stern you need to find out what you really want out of life and again like i said earlier not just to wait for things to happen but you also need to take action you also need to make decision on you know uh, making an effort making a huge form of effort for things to work out like don't just submit to everything you also need to you know fight back or you know do something different in terms of relationships now if you are already in a relationship this could be a scenario we're in maybe um, there could be some form of misunderstandings that can happen or past trauma past hurt can come about and you guys might need to fix that because there's a lot of confusion that is happening here and that can create some form of strain in the relationship and you know some form of problems can occur especially we do have a lot of confusing cards and scenario in place especially with the with the cards over uh with the clouds over here and all of that and also with neptune activation and remember astrologically wise this is affecting venus mars and neptune all at the same time so at one point in time i would suggest to not make life-changing decisions especially in terms of your relationship this is however a good time for you to really do things in a very internal manner wherein you you try to find out what you really want out of relationship what you really want out of life and um 
And if the current setup in your relationship is already satisfying to you or not. So again, I would say that if you are you know, single and wanting a relationship, you also need to question yourself whether you want something for fun or you want something for a long term because I feel that it's going to make a huge difference. There is a fair warning for other people though that if you already if you are hurt before and someone that has hurt you in the past comes back entering your life you really need to think about this very seriously because you might be thinking that ah they have changed and it's okay to try again then i kind of feel that that thinking is not enough you really need to do something for things to be much more stable and to clarify uh, what kind of relationship you want with this person instead of you just assuming and waiting for things to happen and not doing anything at all that can create a lot of friction confusion and all that also remember we have the garden and the heart over here so the garden is you know um when it comes to love the garden is like you know someone that is not very committed at all so like i said there could be scenarios here wherein a lot of you guys are look are are so focused with someone who cannot commit who has commitment issues and if you really really want to be with this person you really need to do something about it you maybe you need to talk to them about it or you need to face or accept the consequences that comes along with it you know because it's not going to be easy and it's not going to be as if someone who is not committed will suddenly commit himself to you or herself to you in a blink of an eye so um yeah i kind of feel that for some people you know this could be a time wherein impulsiveness can take over them it can lead to something really good it can lead to something not so good it's really going to be depending however what i do know is that there is going to be a lot of surprises that can be happening and transpiring for each and every taurus out there just be aware though that neptune is highly activated for you in many ways so have your guard up be cautious and don't just trust everything even with your closest friend you know um, not because they said something means that it's the truth you also need to you know be more careful be more aware and um, be more protective of yourself and when and of your loved ones it also doesn't mean that you know your lover or your partner will always do something bad to you just because they have hurt you before you need the facts and you need some form of evidence to say that so again neptune is highly activated so not everything is what it really seems and a lot of questions needs to be answered all at the same time but do not rush it this is the time for you to find out what you really want in a long-term basis not what you want in a short-term scenario and again i cannot stress this enough don't just let things happen to you you need to take action you need to make an effort you need to do something to direct things in your own favor so um yeah this is my reading for you taurus hopefully this does not cut off um again and um if you'd like a more personal reading with me you can book a session with me or have a reading um by checking in my website in the stars by and i shall see you guys again next month goodbye